Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Today I've got this Grow Art 300 power station. Let me just focus this first. I thought I'd focus it. So we've got this Grow Art 300 power station to review, and I thought I'd uh, I thought I'd do a video of it. So uh, reason why I bought this then, as you can see in the background, there's uh, some Vita 550s there and some smaller ones. These ones are C Techy. Uh, by the way, I've done reviews of all these. Uh, I bought one grow for uh, the Vita 550, which I absolutely love. It's brilliant. So I bought I bought a second one because I wanted to be able to put one on charge while I'm like recycling. So I want to be on charge from the solar batteries and my solar panels, and then I'll be using the other one in tennis. So the way I'm going to be using these, let me just drag this forward a little bit. The way I'm going to be using these is going to be mainly all the USBs. I'm not really going to be using the mains. It's there and it's great to use but I'm going to be mainly using for like DC things, charging up tablets, mobile phones and such. Anything USB I can get away with I'm charging up. Now these four little ones uh, Every day they're getting used, so I'm using one a day. I usually like leave one upstairs and one downstairs, but it's usually every second day they'll have to be charged up. So they're always on charge out the back on the main solar panels. So I've been doing that for them, them orange ones, uh, for about a two year. So we've never we've never really paid for any anything USB. I mean, you've got hundreds of USB items. Everything which is USB in the house. There must be at least six or seven mobile phones. It's about the same, same tablets. Anything I can think of which is USB. Flashlights, things like that. So they've been... So for at least two years, I've never paid for any, any USBs. And these are about 300 watt hours each. So each day, we're charging up at least 600 watts like off the sun so we're using about 600 watt hours a day easy for charging up tablets and things and then the the, the grow 550s they're getting used as well but they usually last two or three days before i need to get it down to about 40 percent before i charge it back up again 30 percent so they're getting constantly used but i've only had them for a few months and they're working brilliant uh, so this one is obviously the, it's double the size of, it's like having two of those isn't it? So this one is 1300 and something watt hours, 27 or something amp hours. So it's like basically two of those. So the reason I wanted this, I tried to run my fridge. So I, I want, I'm more interested in backup scenarios. So, and I'll do another video because I haven't really done a video of me solar setups. It doesn't make sense to you realise why I want to use these. I mean, you can use these for anything, kind of camping, uh, tailgating, anything you want. Going out for the day on the beach, you could take like a, one of them small ones. Uh, in your car, you want to be carrying stuff around in case you need to charge things up. This one would probably be a bit big, and it, or if for camping, stuff like that. Give me a second. Sorry about that, someone's working out the back garden, the banging ladders. So yeah, you could use this one for that. Uh, so let's have a look then. It's got two big handles on it. So easy to carry, fits premium. Up top we've got a 15 amp, a 15 watt charger. Same as the other ones. It'll be the same, same technology inside. The only difference is this one's got a light, a little LED. And you can turn that on using the DC power. Yeah. So really when you put things on it now, like say I put some electronic device on it, I don't want, I don't have to worry that the magnetic field's gonna interrupt with anything until I turn it on. Yeah, so I can use the platform. Two big fans, two this side, two on that side. Yeah, nice big screen. The screen's exactly the same as the other Groat, the Vita ones in all the range, I think the same. 
and then down here we've got some buttons we've got a wi-fi button to add the software which you can find up here apple store or the google play i've already downloaded it so it just keeps adding them to the in fact i'll show you before i move on so in my smart i have to focus <laughs> Hold on. Uh, multitasking. Okay, that might be focused. Anyway, I'll try my best. So, that's the app there. And you can see there's the three of them there. They're both turned off. Yeah. And obviously, when you hit on it, it's not on now, but if I turn that on, I'm not really going to go over the app because that's like another. It's pretty straightforward. It might. I might have to turn it back off to do it, I don't know. Let's go back out. Where's that down? Do it again. Now it should identify it as... Why is not that come on? Oh, what? Do you know what? Messed up already. That's why I don't like apps. Sometimes it works, sometimes I don't. I've never had any problems with them at all. I don't really want to mess about with turning that on. Because I know it's been working, so let me just close it down again. I'm wondering whether it's in the background. Do you know what? I've never had zero problems with it. And now, when you need to, it's not working. <laughs> what the hell? Oh well, now my phone's taking a, a fit. Okay. This is unreal. Close all apps. System is now open, guys. <sighs> Sorry about this, guys. It's never ever once folded. Now it won't open for some reason. I don't know. If I if I put my Victron, that works. The Victron app comes up. But for some reason this one's just gone uh, belly up. I don't know why. Anyhow, I'm not going to bother with it. It does work, honestly. I've been using that them ones for months and months. And I've never had any issues. As soon as I... Put it on. I wonder whether I've knocked that Wi-Fi button and lost the signal or something. But we look into that. But believe me, it works. So we've got input, output, 100% uh, battery level. It shows you all your different information, which you can find online. We've got some DC parts here. We've got two USB A's, 2.4 amps. Fast charge, 18 watt USBs. Uh, eight, 100 watt USB C's fast charge, which is great. Yeah, on this side, oh, I have to focus again. That's all. Give me a second. It's a pen. Just so you got that. So you got four UK outlets, 240 volts, pure sine wave, 1800 watts max, 3000 surge. You've got a like a car charger socket. A car charger socket, two 5521 barrel connectors, three amps max. Yeah, which is great. Uh, and on this side, oh, on this side we've got, I'm just going to focus it again. Every time I'm over it, I have to focus it. We have solar and vehicle AC and uh, overload protection switch comes up. I prefer to go down, but there you go. You can see that there's XT60, like a like a kettle socket and a button. Comes all the cables. I'll show you them shortly. Uh, but that's really, really it. That's nice, nice and heavy. But this thing I'm gonna I bought because I want to plug into my fridge with the UPS, the 20 millisecond UPS, the same as the uh, five V550. 
So we had a power cut recently where they were building houses further down the street and the workmen cut through the lines, power lines. I was at work, came home, fish tank was off, poor fish were up at the top trying to get oxygen. Uh, I don't know how long it was off but when I talked to the neighbour of the road he said it was about six hours. Uh, so with this being a UPS you could have had this plugged in and you wouldn't have even known and then when you come back home it's going to charge back up again. So yeah I'm going to use it for that, for that purpose only. Uh, I'm not sure they built, they've got a bigger version. I, 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 or it might be somewhere else I've been looking at, but a bigger version, really you need wheels on it. These things are not light. Uh, this is a big battery in there and an inverter. Uh, so I'm going to try that out, I'm going to do a load test to see whether we can get that. Is it 12, uh, I think it's 12 something, what hours, 1200 and something what hours. If I can get round about anywhere from 1100, I'll be happy. Uh, and then we'll test the inverter and such. Them ones I've done a test and I've done a load test. In fact, that's what I'll be using. This thing here. And then we're putting a load on that at about 10 amps. Uh, it's going to take a long time, that's all. Uh, I haven't figured out how I can put a bigger load on it really, but just uh, do that. I have to refocus it every two, every two seconds. So. What's it not to like really? You could use this for loads and other things, but I want it for a backup. I might think about a second one if I can plug this into the fridge and leave it plugged in around the back. Then if it, then I can forget about the fridge really. Uh, at the moment, when we're talking now, the full house is running off, off solar. So my house is running off batteries actually, and a bit of solar. And I'm trying to cycle my batteries, so I can't get my batteries down. I have 10. 0.5 kilowatts of batteries, solar, uh, uh, lithium-ion phosphate. And I'm trying to cycle them. When, when they get topped up, I run the house off the batteries and uh, like that. So if this was running, plugged in as a UPS, and I plugged in one of the 550s as a UPS for my fish tank, that's my main things running. Because I only have a 2000 watt inverter in my shed. So I can't go over that 2000 watt because I'll blow the fuse. In fact, I've got a 175 amp fuse in there. So I'll pop that fuse if I, if I go around there. So if the fridge was out of the equation and the fish tank was out of the equation, and the third one I could use for maybe the TV as a UPS. That's pretty much, there's only the computers, which if I've got another one, I'd run my computer off as a UPS. So that means you could use the 2000 watt inverter in the shed off the solar batteries to run your kettle, because the kettle's 15, so I could, I could boil the kettle. When that goes off, I could use the microwave, but not all at the same time. So that means I can literally run everything I do with the mains and then this is going to like be like a, a battery load it's going to be like a reservoir for that uh, transition over so yeah I'll do a load test the quality looks fantastic it looks premium these nice fans come on when you're charging it I've just ordered another flexible solar panel I'm doing a video of that so I've got I'll have two 220 watt foldable panels which can plug into this in series or parallel to charge these things up super quick, uh, as well as the other, the other solar panels as well. Uh, so yeah, I'll do another video of that. So we'll, we'll test the inverter out. Uh, I'll do a load test, charge it back up again. I'll test these out and I'll test all these out. I mean, I've done them all, they all work. They all work fine. But I'll, I'll show you, I'll do all that. Uh, we're back shortly, so we're gonna do this next. Okay, right guys, so it's been about uh, three weeks since I bought this. So it's three weeks since I've done the video, the unboxing, yeah. So I've been using it on and off uh, every other day, 
tries to cycle it up. I tried to use a cycle, but it's hard to use everything because it's such a big volume. Uh, absolutely fantastic, loving it. The uh, can't say anything negative about it really. Um, I've used it for charging up all my devices, all these things at the front. And what I tend to use it for is uh, lap uh, tablets, laptops, phones. Um, the phones are always sometimes twice a day charging things up. Uh, all the kid stuff. What else then? I, I've used the outlets uh, to test them out. Never really used them for a real purpose. I've used them just to test them really, and they work fantastic. I'll put a I'll put this on, and I'll show you the quality of the output wave, which is a pure sine wave. Again, eighteen hundred watt max, uh, three thousand five hundred, I believe, uh, peak, like a for a short time. I've used the charger six or seven times. Generally, I'll use the ports to charge it up because it's more efficient, but if they all get used, I can stick uh, something on like my phone's a wireless charge phone. It's even detected it then, even though it's not turned on. It must be something in the. It's weird. That just came on there. One was a little bit of charge still built in. There's a little LED on the top. Uh, so, yeah. What I think of it then? Would I recommend it? Uh, I'll put up the link of the what I found is. I've done a discharge, and the discharge was, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll put a picture up, and the specs, uh, it was more than the rated capacity, so it was like 1,400 uh, watt hours, instead of 1,300 and something, but anyway, it was more than, so that's really good, yeah, it's a big lump, it's quite heavy. Uh, what to use it for for camping? Uh, for my my use is going to be back up, generally. Uh, so yeah, got some parts on the side. If I can open it fast. Yeah, you need nails. I've got no nails. There you go. So there, you can see it. Let me just go a bit closer. Okay, so you can see you've got XD60 mains and a reset button for if it trips out or something. And then the information's on now. I might can read that, but it's all in the manual. It's got rub there's some rubber outside there as well. It's like rubber. Uh, on the front, there's all the USB ports you need. There's a button here which is for Wi-Fi, uh, setting the Wi-Fi up and turn it on and you'll see on the screen that there'll be a Wi-Fi signal and a Bluetooth, it does both and then it's all your parts there you can turn these buttons here, you can turn DC on or AC on so if you were turning your AC on, you switch it on DC would be all these fronts and the top one you turn them on and off so yeah, so this Infinity 1300 from Gruard is absolutely fantastic. Two big fans on the front and two on the rear. It's not just one way, it's pushing and pulling. So I, I don't know which way is which, I think. I think it's going like this way, travelling this way. So it's going in and out that way. But I can't remember. Yeah. So I'll turn it on to show you the screen. Hold it for a few seconds, fully charged. Uh, you should have to see everything there. Input, output. You can use the app. If I put the app on now, I'll show you that as well. Give me a second to find it because I'm not prepared. Okay. Yeah, this one's strange. This one's weird. 
just trying to find it now. I must admit, I don't want you to say that. Oh, I know why. I must admit, this one, I have trouble connecting it, but that's the only negative thing I can think. This one, I have trouble connecting it. The other ones, the Vita 550s, spot on perfect every time. Let me have a look. I need to turn it on at the front. And I don't know why. There we go. So you can see now, it's actually found it. Yeah. Let me just zoom in a bit more where you can see. So it's found it there. Go back to that. So now I'll connect. And I need to put my hand down there. You can see it's connected now. I can't really show you uh, too much. I mean, I'm trying to zoom in a bit more. Let me just see if I can zoom in for you. Uh, that's pretty cool. So you can see pretty much all the details there. Uh, input, output. You can see whether what watch you're using for all your devices. So absolutely, yeah, absolutely fantastic. I love it. I'm just checking my phone there for messages. So the fans work great. You can turn things on and off. So you can turn your DC on, AC on. A little light will come on. I don't know what you can see on the top. There's a little light just there. I haven't got a camera to show you that one. Turn it back off. AC is going to be the inverters. Just click there. Now these are powered on. Turn that off. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug. Well, I'll show you this first. So we've got. Accessory box. Comes in the, the main box. This has got all the cables in. Yeah. Some information on the back. Which says just a user guide. How to turn <laughs> how to turn it on and things and about your cables. So I'll open this up and show you what's inside. There you go. So that's the cables, so let me just get them out. Show you them one at a time. So we have I'll zoom in a bit. We've got a car cable, your standard car cable with XT60 connected. Really nice as well. I love the way it's been moulded. Spend some time on that. So it look, looks solid. Velcro strap it stays on. So that's you get that one. You get a mains cable. I've never used this one yet because it's charged up four times with solar, which is Terminated in a, like a cattle plug. Yeah, get that one. Then we get a barrel connectors. Yeah. Uh, don't know why they've given us that. Is this out of here? It must be. Oh, you know what? Oh, sorry. This is not out of there, guys. This is out of the V to five fifty. So I don't know why I put that in there, but that didn't. Yeah, that's for the Vita 550. So that can stay out. I don't know why I put that in there. Move that out the road. And then the last one, you get a long, long cable. It's about 10 feet or something. I'll, I'll put the specs up. Uh, and it's MC4 connectors. Yeah, MC4 connectors, and it goes to XT60, and it's really long. Because uh, the the Vita 550, you get these as well. You can dizzy chain them and, and like longer. So that's what comes in the box. Let me just move these. I tend to use 
this one a lot because on my main solar panels I have these uh, barrel these uh, car connectors and then I'll just plug it in to this without XC60 and it only gives me 10 amps from my main supply but it charges it up and quick quick enough uh, so yeah uh, you can charge up it's got overall protection and you can charge it up off that as well our mains uh, and I'll put all the specs up how much uh, oh sorry I am wrong I'm wrong again I am wrong again it's unusual but it has got barrel connectors I've never even noticed I've never really been bothered but it's got barrel connectors I, uh, I didn't see them and then obviously the uh, obviously that one as well <laughs> just shows you I thought I thought as much I was wondering why is that in there but they they have the bar connectors on on all of the models I think uh, so yeah what we use this one then so I've tested it out um, on what was it I've used the UPS on my computer now the other one the 550 wooden wouldn't really work with my computer it would work but when I used games let's move on a bit when I used my game like a uh, like normal computer just just using it for content it uses about three four hundred watts five hundred watts max but if I if I play like a game like flight sim something which is demanding on the graphics card it can shoot up to 800 900 1100 watts so I couldn't, but I can use this one for that. This one works. Uh, my plans for this are going to be to plug it into my computer. I've also run my fridge off this, fish tank off this, every appliance. I can't think of. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to weld off it. Although you, I probably could, because I've got an inverter welder, so I probably could even weld off it. I can grind, use a grinder, powers all my tools up, but generally. I'm going to be using it for these front panels for uh, charging things up like this and then cycling it through my main solar panels uh, now I've just bought myself another two um, 220 watt uh, foldable portable panels which will give us like 440 watts and uh, they're plugged straight in to here so you could uh, shoot, put two panels in and you're going to get like super quick charging, 800 watts. I think it takes 800 watts, I'm not sure, I'll have to check on that, but uh, I think it does, but I'll, I'll put it on specs. But yeah, you could use it that way, but I tend to just plug it in. Other things I'm going to use it for is a backup, obviously, and daily use is going to be plugged into my PC as a UPS. So if the uh, grid goes down or I get a like a power surge, it won't trip and it'll keep your data and things. Also, if I'm just using the computer like I am now, it's only drawn probably like 150 to 300 watts, depending on what you're doing. I could run it, I'll test it and see how long I can run it off the mains on this, just to cycle it like maybe twice a week so it's not just sat at full power all the time uh, but yeah absolutely fantastic guys uh, if you're thinking about getting one of these I would highly recommend it I went with Grow Up because of the company name it's a big company uh, and I'm also happy with the other products I bought uh, I've got some other solar stuff to do with Grow Up uh, MP MPPT controllers uh, I mean, I like Victron. I've got Victron stuff as well, but these are top quality, and I would recommend them. The, the build quality is great. It's heavy, but what do you expect? There's big batteries in there and an inverter. Uh, so yeah, as a package, you you can't really go wrong to be honest at this price. I got this from Amazon. What I am going to do is buy another one. I don't know whether Grow Up do a bigger one. I have to look into it. But it'd be interesting to have a a bigger version. 
to test it out to see what's uh, just just to test it out. But I'd probably save up for another one. I don't know. I might. I have got quite a few of them now. But I highly, highly recommend this. It's going to be useful for so many things, guys. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put it on pause a second while it's... And in fact, I'll just do it. So I've got my oscilloscope there. Now, I'm going to test these parts out. Just to see what they're like. Yeah, so it's turned off. Just be careful when you're messing about with 240 volts. Yeah. Well, in the UK, it says 240 volts. So it'll give you... Yeah. It'll give you a zap. Now, I'm not recommending this. And I don't want you to do this. But I've made up a plug with the, the negative and positive coming out so I can attach my oscilloscope cables and I'll do that now just to show you. Let me just zoom into the area I want to be. Okay. So as you can see just a plug and I've wired I'm not saying do this do it at your own risk but these are going to be live mains 240 yeah so what I've done for is so I can put this crocodile clip on the end like so and the mains like that just so I'd, it's just a bit easier than trying to stick the let me just move over a bit it's a bit easier than trying to stick the the into there you could get them the wrong way around. This one's this one's easier. So I'll just use that one. Oh, it's a bit tight. So obviously make sure it's off because if you're holding this, you're gonna get a zap. Yeah. It ain't gonna feel good, guys. Don't do it. Just don't do it. So we turned off. We're gonna turn this telescope on. to show you. Okay. Okay, so we can see that there. That looks pretty good. It's not glaring too much. Yeah? Happy? Okay, so we're going to turn it on now. So I just need to lean on the front and uh, put the mains on. Is that DC? There we are. It's on. And we're going to do a auto. Oh, I've already done it. I didn't see that. There you go. Cast no more than that. Perfect. Perfect sine wave. Yeah. Bear in mind, that's mains. Don't touch it. <laughs> so we're going to turn it off just to give confirmation that it goes off. There you go, dead, and I'll turn it off at the front as well also. Right, definitely off. Yep, so I'll go back to the men's front so you can see. Okay, give me a second. There we go. So we're definitely off, so we can disconnect this. It's just easy for me to to do that. Uh, get that all the rod, and that's nice and safe again. So yeah, uh, I'll turn this scope off. So a nice pure sine wave. Obviously they're all linked, so they're all linked. So I don't need to check each one. Uh, so that's about it, guys. Uh, I can't say anything more about this thing. It's fantastic. We've got the fast charge. We've got all the specs. Uh, you've got, you've got USB-Cs at the front. The app works fantastic. Uh, I can't say anything more but, uh, negative about it. And uh, it's just absolutely a perfect or a nice piece of kit. I think so anyway. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, uh, I don't think it'll go wrong. Depending on what you want to use it for. If you're going to use it in the car all the time, it's a bit heavy uh, but it's doable uh, anything heavier than this I wouldn't really want anything heavier uh, 
two of these would be great if you're thinking about getting into prepping which i am i just get i'd start off with the smaller versions like i think perfect is going to be the the vita 550s get two of those i'd rather have two of the 550s than one of these yeah because if one ever breaks you've got the other one if this breaks it's just a block of it's nothing until I fix it where if you've got two of them and then I would get one of these and, and add so for me a perfect combination is going to be two of the f two of the Vita 550s two of these then you've got some serious power there you've got two kilowatts in these I've actually got Marcus is a like one thousand I got 1400 out of this it's three thousand that's three kilowatts and I'm not saying you might get three kilowatts but I did and I'd, uh, when I, if, if I did get another one, it'd be very interesting to see if I get the same results. Uh, and that was pulling 10 amps for 17 hours, I think it was, or something like that, out of this socket here with the, the load meter. Yeah. So I don't think you'll be disappointed. I've got uh, 1,200 watts of solar panels, which are charges for free, so I'll never be charging this off mains. Uh, it'll all be done for free so I've spent the last two years I think using the other battery banks to charge up everything but they were getting cycled I have four of the small ones the c -Techie ones they had about 320 watt hours I was using one of those a day and then putting the other one to the back when it was charged and just cycling them around like one two three four and so like they were getting charged cycled once a week which is nothing but now I have these um, this is get this is going to get cycled maybe once every two weeks and then the Vita 550s will get cycled every couple of weeks so like because they just won't need to use them that much but in emergency backup then you've got so much more power for things I would link this up to my fridge if I had another one I'd link it up to my fish tank and then the, the 550s I'd put it on like a TV or something else and then I wouldn't even have to touch my other batteries my tank, my, I have like 10.5 kilowatt batteries solar batteries lithium ion phosphate the same as this again guys if you're going to pick them up it's up to you I prefer the lithium ion uh, phosphate because of the cycles this is about 3000 something that's going to last you for years and years and years and years and years and years and there'll be new things out and you you won't even use it that long but it could potentially be used every single day for 3000 cycles down to about 80 percent uh, but what I suggest is don't don't when you cycle it don't take it right to zero then up to 100 take it to 10 90 or something 80 would be better but if you wanted to you could go to 90 to 10 and then you're not cramming in too much power uh, and do it like over a longer period of time don't try to use like the mains fast charge all the time that's when batteries struggle because the they'll do it but I don't think it's the best way to treat batteries I think charge them at one C or less uh, and then the last a lot longer and it's safer as well you, you're not you're not messing the chemistry up too much you're not asking the battery to do too much that's why you get a lot of fires and, and like lipo fires because everyone's trying to charge things up super quick and they're not even cooled down they're like a like a bike electric bike they'll, they'll use it then they'll put it straight on charge and then they'll go out again like a delivery and they wonder why they're setting fire uh, craziness uh just to understand that it's a chemical reaction going on uh, and they are safe uh, if you treat them with respect uh, I guess I don't think there's anything else I've missed to be honest the the inverters I've never test, tested the barrel ports but they'll, they'll work I've got nothing really I need where I can use these I've got nothing really where I could use them for I, I, I've got loads of appliances for these uh, I also I forgot I didn't do the efficiency test on this 
I'll do that and I'll put it in the comments below, in the list below after I do that. But to be fair, I'd always go, I'd always use these because it's DC, isn't it? It's a battery, so you might as well use DC because you don't have to convert it. But it, you have got that if you do need it. But yeah, uh, give us a thumbs up, guys, if you like this. Any any comments, leave below. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.